Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to get on here real quick before my salon tour and let you know if you're new here. My name is Miranda. I'm a licensed nail tech and a licensed esthetician. So on this channel, I will be doing a lot of watch me work videos, a lot of um, nail haul. I'll probably be doing some stuff with my kids on here. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, just stick around. I'm gonna show you a little clip of Snapchat and what my salon looked like before I painted it and before I redid it. So if you have any other questions or anything else that you would like to see, just comment down below. So this right here is just um, the before pictures. This was when I first opened my shop. This was actually the day of the inspection and I passed with flying colors. I got a 100, but yeah, as you guys can see, it's a little blah and that is before. And this is the second entrance. I have two doors that's to the main room and this one is to the main um, nail room. So when you walk in, this is it. I'll show you all the way around really quick. And then I'll go into a little bit of detail about everything. So let's start with this wall, this hedge piece. The flowers are just barely stuck in there. I'm going to get a whole lot more and hot glue them on. That's the plan anyways. Um, and make it all, all flowers. I got this piece and it is double the size. The other piece is in the other room, which I'll show you. But it was on Amazon. The flowers I randomly got mostly from Walmart. Um... Now, if you're um, this mirror, I got from Bargain Hunt, a store over here where near where I live for a really good price, and it was only forty dollars. Really pretty. My granny actually gave me these curtains, and I had them in my bedroom for a while, but they're too long for my bedroom, so I thought they were pretty, pretty good length for in here. Um, this setup right here, I got these two pieces from Target. I really don't remember how much they were. The pillows, I think I got from Target as well. Just some pillows, probably like 10 bucks each or something like that. Now this rug, I really, really like this rug. It's really soft, it's good material. I know I'm iffy um, buying stuff off Amazon. I always look at the reviews and it had good reviews and it has been a very, good rug very good rug let me pull this out a little bit yeah, skylight i really love it but i'm gonna be honest i have another light at home that i got off amazon which i will link in the description and it was a fourth of the price of this light and it does the same thing you guys like i can't speak for every other amazon light or anything but the one that i have it is perfectly just works perfectly as well the only thing is it's not cordless, but I mean, that's really not that important. Like I said, I was being just extra. I wanted it because it was pink and it is a beautiful, beautiful little fancy LED light. <clears throat> now, my drill, I have had this drill for like five years probably. And it's a U-Power drill. Um, I want to say this was like 250 or something so it is expensive but a drill you're gonna want to put money into your drill because if you don't have a good drill you're not going to be able to really do what you need to do as far as being a good nail tech um you know i know there's people that don't use the drill yada 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 that's a whole different story me personally you know how to use the drill you're not going to fuck anybody's nails up okay this little this little set came together um, if you guys remember me doing my nail haul, it came together. I've been using it. It's so cute. I love it. I have my little hand sanitizer there for my customers. Here's my new um, brush. 
which um, I'm probably going to start. I mean, I, I don't have any problem keeping it right here, but I just don't want it to get like dusty with me drilling people's nails and stuff and filing. So I might move this and just put it in one of my drawers. If you guys want a video of how I organize or <laughs> organize, um, leave a comment and I will do that specifically. But right now we're not going to do that. I'm not as organized right now as I want it to be. I just wanted to get this video out there here's some extra little desk organizers that i got off amazon as wall. well i kind of wish i would have done contact paper but then again it probably would have been just as hard to be honest but this me and my son my son helped me a little bit and we did it all by ourselves never painted before so i thought i did a really good job doing that now there's my um diploma from graduating from my nail school i went to nail school and um esthetician to get my esthetician license i went separately i'm not a cosmetologist i'm just a licensed nail tech and a licensed esthetician so i went separately that is that Whew. this picture i believe i got from uh, I want to say I got that from Hobby Lobby. Now here are some of my colored acrylics. Some other ones are not as big as jars and I have them inside my drawer. Um, I have one collection of the Not Polish. I have some Kira Sky, some Gelish, and down there I have a brand called Eye Gel Beauty, which I really like. This, I haven't opened this up yet. Oh, that requires it to be uh, refrigerated so I'll probably put that in there or depending if I have some facials that day I might put some stuff some mask in there all depends and here I got this from Walmart this just has some extra little just miscellaneous things that I really need to organize so we won't go into detail about that this table I got from Big Lots it was it's just like a bookshelf and I originally was doing nails on a table that kind of matched that but it broke so i got a new table this is my nails this is my chairs let me start with the chairs they didn't come as a set um i did buy them separately and i like them so much that i bought one for my vanity at home so they do go up and down um i haven't had any problems with them i really like them i will link those as well in the description and here is my nail table this is contact paper that i literally just put on there today but i love it i think it looks a lot nicer with the contact paper um are not technically nail polish like specifically for nail polish they're just little i don't know little shelves for your house or whatever but i think they work perfectly for my nail polish light i got from amazon as well if you guys remember, I did, I, that was in the haul that I did. And it's pretty bright. As you can see, you can change the settings on it. So I do like that. You can dim it. You can um, turn the brightness up. So it is a pretty good light. When I'm here, I usually have like the windows open up too. So there is some natural light in here. Now, we are gonna i tried to hide this stuff behind the door as well but this is a lifesaver right here if you guys ever go to the restaurants and you see like the bus boys going under the table with these little things it is so handy to get everything up you know quickly of course i have a other vacuum cleaner that i have in the hallway over there but you know in between clients this is really good to use now this there is a separate door to get to the other room and this is my other room right here this is where i do lashes waxing um la uh, brow laminations everything everything else besides nails i do in this room this is the door that i showed you guys here cute little um mirror that i got that i thought went perfect right here this painting was done by yours truly okay if you guys want me to do a video on my pore painting, let me know. This is one of the first ones I did. I haven't been able to do them quite often as I would like to anymore. But I am 
gonna, I'm gonna get back to that. I really like how it has this little chain, which, you know, you probably could have, I probably could have hung it from the chain, but I like how it looks like that. Um, this, this picture came from Hobby Lobby. There is my diploma from graduating from um, my esthetician course too glam to give a damn do you hear me okay that came i want to say from probably big lots as well this was gifted to me this beautiful mirror from my best friend and another just little piece probably coming uh, came from big lots or hobby lobby as well now this cubicle this i got from amazon and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it at first. I still, you know, probably might decorate it a little different, but for right now, this is the setup that I have. Just a little, few little things. Um, my license right there, um, just a few little things. This was also gifted to me by my best friend. I thought this was really cute. My first client, um, and she's not cheap, y'all. She gave me another tip. That was just for the little cute setup cute picture frame that is another picture I did if you want me like I said to do a picture let me know I will do that now over here I love these chairs love 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 these chairs these are velvet and they are just so soft and they're wide enough you know nobody will feel uncomfortable sitting on them and I just love them. Both of those, it was $100. If you guys look and just the first thing you're gonna see is probably like one chair like that for $100. So just always look, I will link those also. I liked that pink rug so much that I bought one in white from the same company. This one does feel a little different. I don't know which one I like better, but I will say I'm pretty sure I got them in the same size and this one seems to be a little smaller, but that's okay. Um, now I don't want to make this video too long, but I am going to show you guys a few more things. This table is just so beautiful. I love this table. It is glass. I did break it on a one side somewhere, but you can't even tell open sign. It is in an awkward, like a little position over here, but it has an on and off switch. I don't think you can really see that too much. It's just a basic on and off switch. Um, somebody gave me that more of the curtains okay this also amazon i'm telling you i buy a lot of my stuff not product wise but a lot of everything else from amazon two drawers i mean this is where i do makeup if i need to if i have a makeup client i will bring a chair right here and the mirror i honestly don't remember where i got the mirror these were really cute i got these from sheen y'all like three dollars my little butterflies they're falling but i got these from i think i got those from sheen as well okay moving on so let me show you guys this has been a lifesaver right here this is one of those like little i guess you would call it like a tv dinner kind of stand or whatever it pulls out and it is the perfect size for when i have um a facial client or lash client and i just put a towel over here and i set up do my setup like put all the stuff that i'm going to need for that client on this table and i set it right there next to me my laundry basket it is labeled um i got that from big lots i think that was twenty dollars a few just little decorations right here now these cabinets they were this ugly brown color and this wasn't my first go-to contact paper i was going to paint it now that i painted the walls and see how complicated painting is i'm glad i did not paint these and just went with the contact paper because i mean it's cute it's very cute um my my friend she helped me put that on so that's that it just made them look a lot better because i had to get that brown off of there or covered up so these, I made these myself, you guys. I seen something at Hobby Lobby and it was tiny and it was $50. Mind you, it probably would have went on sale or whatever. You probably could have got a sale. But I mean, I made those. I got the little rope from Walmart, the flowers from Walmart, and it worked out. It worked out. They're on both sides of the wall. 
this is the other part so this is not two this was one piece that i ordered off amazon um same thing with this grass i'm gonna put some more flowers and probably some more butterflies but i literally just got all this done last week so i'm still working on it but i did want to put this video up to kind of just show you guys what i got going on right now my sign find somebody local or something to make your sign because this sign as big as it is was only i think she charged me 40 dollars. if you go on etsy or you go on something else they're gonna charge you so much so this was made by a woman that lives near me and she did an amazing job i love it i was gonna get one for the nail room but like i said i'm just gonna make that one just like a rose wall these two candle holders probably came from big lots that's my ster sterilizer and you guys i came up on that no actually i got that from amazon it was my towel warmer that i got for 60 percent off at bargain hunt so it was only like 15 dollars y'all and it works so good i haven't had no issues with it um works perfect These my menus i made on vistaprint you guys and um yeah i made them all by myself i think they turned out really really cute if you guys want a description of the things i offer and kind of how i went with pricing everything um let me know and we can do that and i got matching business cards with the same logo with like my information on the back of it this little stand also came from vista print now this um i don't know what you would call it this little table set up right here this came from amazon as well i think it's really cute i do need to do some organizing in there but like i said i wanted to hurry up and make this video for you guys i got my wax warmer i think i actually got this one from school um, but i did buy another one because i wanted to have soft wax and hard wax which um i didn't do much waxing but since i did start waxing i realized i like hard wax a lot better than soft wax so i haven't busted the other one out to have to use both of them god bless you baby now let's talk about my ring light this ring light is wonderful amazon as well you guys it does have my little phone holder that it comes with um adjustable and it's easy if you know you're recording yourself or if you're recording a client or something like that it is adjustable you can move it up you can move it down in three different places you can make this come like um wider or more narrow link that as well my steamer and i haven't had any issues with this i've had this for since i opened as well that was one thing that is required to have the little jar that comes with you never want to keep it like full with water underneath there because it will mess this um i don't know what they're called but it'll mess that up so you always want to take your water out and clean it and all that good stuff so that is put up i literally labeled mostly everything that wasn't already you know self-labeled because i was trying to make sure i got my state board passed when it came um this this was the first bed that i got i love it like i said i was trying to go with the pink thing theme um let's see it is this brand however you you enjoy or whatever um the height on here is adjustable even though i've had this like over a year now i have not adjusted it i haven't really um felt the need to adjust it so yeah um i don't know what the weight limit is on this one but i mean it's a good bed and it's a portable one and it came in like a big bag or whatever so you literally can fold it in half put like the headrest right here you can put that like underneath it fold it up together and that's how this one works now this other bed um this is not a portable one this i also got off amazon it wasn't the easiest to put together but that's that um, this headrest does come off so if a person you know you're doing like a massage or a back treatment if they don't want this and they're you know laying on their stomach their head can go right there um, i do not have a 
top, uh, what is it, a bed topper warmer or whatever. I don't have one of those things. I do have like a little, not even a heated blanket. I really have been wanting to invest in a heated blanket, but for now I'm just using this heating pad. It's a like an extra large one. So it covers like, you know, their back or whatever. That's what I'm using. This also Amazon, y'all. This is for their feet so they can put their feet up here when they're getting their lashes done. You know, it can be a lengthy process. So that just makes it more comfortable for them. I definitely would invest in one of these because all my clients say that they love that thing. They're comfortable, you know, once they get on the bed. And yeah, I think I also originally had the white chair in here but this chair is a lot more comfortable you know i'm here doing lashes longer than i'm doing nails so i would say invest in a good comfortable chair if you're lashing because you guys know lashing takes you know an hour maybe two hours depending on what type of lashes that you're doing so yeah invest in a good chair this also came from amazon and i will also link that in the description now I did not talk about this. This is my, um, I don't know what the name of the light is called. It's late, you guys. I can't really think. But anyways, that is adjustable. Um, you know, it moves in different ways. You can move it down like that, or you can move it as high as you need it. It is on wheels, so it's easy to move around here. If I need to move it from this bed to that bed, you definitely, I don't know how everybody else is doing it, but I'm still taking temperatures. I'm still requiring people to wear their mask when they come and all that good stuff, just to be safe. This got from Walmart, a little outlet. I need to get a refill. But yeah, that's it. I'll just do a quick, like, another little walkthrough real quick so you can see everything one last time. Let me go over here so you can see this view. This is it. And we'll walk into the nail room one last time for you guys. And here is this. And thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe.